everybody, welcome back to the Chiquelle YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm about to tell you all about this wig that I am currently obsessed with. This is Zara Light by John Renault and I'm going to give you a full review on this. But before I jump in, I need you guys to know that it is now officially week three of our holiday giveaway. So if you want to enter this amazing giveaway, we are giving away 48 prizes throughout the month of December. We've already given away 24 of them. So they're half gone. We still have 24 left to go. If you want to enter this giveaway, all you need to do is comment below this video with the hashtag Shaquelle Holiday. Make sure you like this video and also make sure you're subscribing to YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook if you're on all of those platforms. In doing so, you will get the opportunity to win a prize on each of these platforms. You could win a gift card to Shaquelle for $500, $250, $125, or $100. So we are just so excited to be able to be giving back to you guys, especially with all of the support you've been giving us here at Shaquelle. We are just so grateful for you for being here and we just wanna wish you guys a very happy holidays. So make sure you get these entries in for week three. Okay, let's dive into this review right now because I am so excited to share with you this wig. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? I am obsessed with this thing. Okay, you guys, I have not tried Zara Light many times, but I have a couple times, but for some reason, when I put it on this time, I just immediately fell in love. And I think it's just because I've been really loving these light caps lately. They are just amazing. If you haven't tried a light cap out yet, it's it's life changing. It really is. It's it's expensive, not going to lie, but it's life changing and amazing and it's so beautiful and so comfortable and so lightweight and oh goodness gracious, I'm going to tell you all about it. Okay, let me just take this off my head. So, a few years back, John Renault took some of their more um beloved wig sets that were a little bit more popular and they turned them into light caps. And when they made their light cap, they made it so that it has a fully or a full monofilament top so you have this great parting versatility you have an ear to ear lace front so that is fantastic for tucking it behind your ears it gives you that ultimate styling versatility all over the top all over the sides everywhere it's fantastic um, they also put these polyurethane ear tabs in on both sides there's still the metal stays inside here to help keep it flush against your temples, but there's this, these polyurethane ear tabs. And this provides a little bit extra security and grip on your uh, head, but it also gives you an option, um, at least a more safe option than the lace, to put um, some adhesive here. So perhaps some tape or wig glue would be totally awesome here to help adhere it to your head. Uh, these light caps also are fully hand tied, not partially hand tied, they're fully hand tied stretch cap. They are so comfortable, so lightweight, just kind of morph to your head. Um, they're great to stretch out if your head's a little bit bigger, but yet they don't feel too floppy and too much if your head's a bit smaller. Um, they also put a silicone strip at the nape of your neck. So again, that's great for gripping onto your um, nape so that it kind of stops the wig from riding up too much. And also you can even put some adhesive here too, just to help uh, keep it from riding up as well. So if you're someone who has more of like a flat back of your head or you know your occipital bones back here, they're, they don't kind of come out as much. This is really great then to help so that it doesn't come up. Okay, so these light caps, that's pretty much the gist of the light cap here. Um, it has all of the bells and whistles on it. Pretty much anything you could ever ask for in a natural cap is right here on these light caps. They're so comfortable, you guys. I can't say that enough. They're so comfy. The other thing that they've done with these light um, wigs that they've made is they've made them lower density. So there's not as much hair on them which is fantastic for all of you ladies who always feel like these wigs just have too much hair. Also, I keep saying also, also, since these are completely hand tied, you know, you have your hand tied monofilament top, completely 100% hand tied cap, because it's all hand tied, anytime you have any portion of a wig that is hand tied, there's gonna be no permatease. So there is zero permatease in this whole cap. If you don't know what permatease is, it's that short haired crimping effect at the root that gives you that 
poofy volume. Um, it's fantastic on a lot of styles. It's a little overdone on others. Um, you, you kind of either love it or you hate it, or you just try to embrace it. But for anyone experiencing hair loss and who's used to having not so much hair on their head, Permatease is a little bit scary. So this has no Permatease. I think I made a video on Permatease once upon a time. If I remember correctly, I sometimes get my videos mixed up between like Instagram or YouTube and I'm like, which one did I do it? Anyways, if I did it once upon a time, I'm gonna link it below for you and you can learn all about Permatease. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Light Cap by John Renault. The light cap comes, of course, in Zara. There's also a Julianne light. There is also a Rachel light. There is also some human hair options. There's a Carrie light. There is a Blake light. There is a Sienna light, I believe. Um, so there's several options in this light cap. So if this is a cap that you are interested in, then go check out those options and you are just gonna be so in love. Now, of course, Zara is made with synthetic fibers and sometimes um, I feel like people, when they see the price of this, this is around, it runs around 600 US dollars for this wig. And when people see the price of that, they're like, holy moly, that is a lot for a synthetic wig. And, um, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. It is, it is pricey. It's up there. And people are like, well, if I'm going to pay that much, I may as well just get human hair. Yes, you could. But again, human hair is you know even more expensive. So if you want the luxury of this light cap, um, and you don't want to pay thousands of dollars for a human hair light cap, then try this one. And it's, it's so good, you guys. Okay, let me put this back on. I'm wearing this in the color 12 FS8 Shaded Praline. So Shaded Praline, it's going to be a nice neutral tone. And that's because it has sort of a blend of platinum blonde, as well as some nice golden blonde in here as well. So they kind of even each other out. And then we do have some medium brown roots. Now I'm gonna tell you right now that my lighting is not up to snuff right now. Um, the <laughs> It's a cloudy day and I don't have a ton of wonderful light shining in on me. So this is sort of some muted daylight on me. Just know that this does have some gold in it. So if you're like against the gold tones, like completely, you may not love this, but it also, like I said, has that platinum in here to kind of counteract it and make it this really beautiful neutral color. I really love this color. Okay, so sometimes with these really long synthetic wigs, I shouldn't say sometimes, I should say all the time, <laughs> all the time with these really long synthetic wigs, they tangle. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna hold in the information long synthetic wigs tangle. So you have to know that going into this, especially if you're someone who's used to human hair, um, synthetic wigs tangle much more easily, I find, and they just, they're different than human hair. So if you're getting this, expecting it to act like human hair, it's not going to, <laughs> it's just not. So you sort of have to embrace the fact that you might need to carry a wide tooth comb with you and comb it out throughout the day. Um, uh, there's a plus to this though. This is just plain synthetic hair. Plain synthetic as opposed to heat defined synthetic doesn't tangle quite as much. So that's great, right? <laughs> and there's also a plus with this particular piece because this is a straight um, style. There's no, you know, waves or anything. The only kind of structure in this you see is right here framing your face. Everything else is generally straight with the odd little like curve here and there. But because this is a straight style, it's going to be easy to maintain and prolong. And so what I mean by that is over time, your synthetic wigs, like I said, are going to tangle. When they tangle, we brush them and we comb them. And when we comb them, it pulls out the fibers, causing them to get frizzy. Also, when you have long wigs like this, the friction rubbing against your clothing is going to cause the ends to get frizzy and fuzzy and fluffy. So when I say that this is easy to maintain, I say that because you can easily take a fabric steamer and a comb and run your comb through it, follow it behind with a fabric steamer, and that's gonna help straighten out your fiber again so that it's not all fuzzy and frizzly and frazzly and poofy. And that's gonna just help keep it really beautiful and prolong the wear of your synthetic wig. 
I should say that don't do that while you're wearing it. You will burn yourself with the steam. Make sure you take off your wig and put it on a little mannequin head or a block head or whatever you have. Um, and that will ensure you don't burn yourself. But I just want you guys to know that because a lot of the time people get these wigs and they get all frizzly and frazzly within a couple months and then people are like, oh my goodness gracious, I spent all this money on this wig and now I need to throw it in the garbage. You don't need to throw it in the garbage. There are so many things you can do to help keep it beautiful. So get that steamer and that steamer is going to help this wig lasts so much longer, even with daily wear. Okay, so let's talk about the lengths on this. We have about 11 and a half inches from the, uh, at the front here. We've got about 17 inches running along the sides. There's about 16 and a half inches from your crown. And then from your nape here, right about here, we have about 16 inches. So she's a long one. Let me spin for you. Okay, here, let's look at that lace front. So on this particular color and on a lot of the rooted colors for this wig in general, John Renault's brought that lighter piece forward, which helps disguise your knotting, which is amazing. So this is your ear to ear lace front. Of course, runs all the way around your ear tab and on the other side. One thing I do notice though about these um, full ear to ear lace ear tabs is that they can kind of stick up a little bit. Do you see how it sticks up? I don't find that lace lays very flat. So I personally would put some adhesive right here to help lay it a bit more flat so that it's not lifting up like that. <laughs> um, now, one thing I do find just, just in general with pretty much all of these wigs is that these hairlines are just so perfect, you know, like there's this perfect curve. It's like a rainbow. <laughs> um, some people find that plucking the hairs help a little bit. I never do, um, mostly because I don't often completely pull it off my face. And when I don't pull it off my, because, or because I don't pull it off my face like this, it doesn't bother me. But just note that these hairlines are very perfect. Um, and if you do plan on pulling it back off your face, which you can, um, it's very doable. I still enjoy leaving some pieces out just so that we don't see how perfect it is because at the end of the day, nobody's hairline in real life is that perfect. So if you plan on pulling it back off your face, my tip for you is to still leave some hair out so that it's it might be a giveaway that you're wearing a wig still. Okay, this full monofilament top we have here lets you change the part wherever you want. So here's my right part. Here's my left part. Now, when you change the parts around, sometimes, like see how this wants to come forward? It's not trained yet to go in the way that I want it to go. Um, so if you wanna fix that, you could take your fabric steamer if you have one, clip these fibers back and away from your face Steam it off of your head, of course. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Steam it at the roots here so that it goes, wants to go backwards. You kind of overtrain it and then it will fall more sideways and instead of wanting to come forward like it wants to right now. So using heat from your steamer is a safe way to do that. You can always try heat from your hands by rubbing your hands, pressing it into your roots, letting that sort of natural heat work its magic, but sometimes I find that that doesn't really, it's not very effective. <laughs> so these light caps, I have always found that they fit very true to average. So if you are an average gal, like 21 and a half inches, this is gonna be great for you. It will fit also our friends that are a little bit bigger than average because it is a nice stretchy um, circumference. And of course these um, hand-tied caps, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word there. These hand tied caps are quite stretchy too and have a little bit of give in them and will stretch out for a little bit of a larger head. I would not necessarily say that this is going to fit a, a size large, like a 23 inch and up. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it. If you are a petite like me, so I measure 20.5 inches in circumference, 
you could wear this. Um, I'm fine wearing this. I need to bring the adjusters in a little bit and it fits okay in my circumference. Um, and then there's just a little bit of extra bulk in the cap here, but I find in these hand-tied caps, it's not as bad as when there's bulk in open wefted caps. It's just not as bulky. <laughs> so like I mentioned earlier, of course, with these light caps, this is a light density. It's nice, light and fluffy. These fibers are soft and fluffy. Um, you don't feel like there's too much hair on here. This could be really fun to put into a half up, half down. Um, I like to make things a little bit messy sometimes, not quite so perfect. And again, I like to leave things in the front so that we're not so, um, the hairline isn't quite so exposed. So this is a nice little half up, half down. Uh, it can of course fit into a ponytail. little pony. Um, you could tuck it behind your ears a little bit because of that lace there, but I don't know. Sometimes I still find that to be not quite as natural. You know, it's too perfect. So I probably would leave <laughs> some more hairs, give a bit of a messy, messy ponytail look. But it fits into ponytails, of course. It's nice and long. So there's really a lot of styling options with Zara Light. Okay, I think that is all I have to share with you about Zara Light. There is, if you love this style and um, you're just not into spending as much money on this light cap, you could just go for the regular Zara. The regular Zara is going to have a full monofilament top and a temple to temple lace front. So that's really amazing, but it's going to have a wefted cap. It's not going to be quite as comfortable, quite as versatile with the styling, um, but it's still a really great style. It's also going to have a little bit more hair and it's going to have a little bit of permatease. So it might be a little bit extra, extra. <laughs> <laughs> not too much, but a little bit. So just know that you do have options. And of course, if this is a wig that you're interested in, then make sure you head over to our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada or chiquelle.com.au if you are in Australia. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Enjoy your day and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.